Hey everyone, I get asked all the time how my DM Exorcist program works, and this was the program that I had for the haunt last year. I have whips, horizontal mover, boogity, an air cannon, trash can trauma, some fuses, and a slammer prop. So these are all VSA routines that have been loaded up into DM Exorcist. And I have play if and reset if situations going on. So in the haunt, the first thing they're going to run into is the trash can trauma. So for the trash can trauma, it, I have play if function 5 is on. Well, let's go look at function 5. That's under logic functions. Under logic functions, function 5, input 5 is on or the infrared remote is on. This is my backup remote in case my other remote works. But let's stick with function 5, input 5 on. If I go down here to Exorcist, input 5, I have something connected to it, and I mark barrel there. Well, what's connected to it is a floor mat. So, to get everything running, let's arm it first. So I'm going to hit arm, and that always comes up, so don't let it scare you. <laughs> I don't know what it's telling me. And now everything's loading up, it gives me a little report, and I am now armed, and so... For the trash can trauma that I want to start, it's on that floor mat. I'm going to go over to the floor mat and activate it. Okay, what's nice about Exorcist and DM Exorcist is... Say somebody's standing on that floor mat or a bunch of kids come in behind it and they step on the floor mat. Trash can trauma won't fire until reset if trash can trauma is done. So they could stand on it all day long, jump up and down. It's not going to reset until it's done. And I'm assuming by the time it's done, they've already moved on. Okay, so that's the first prop they walk into. The second prop they walk into is my horizontal mover. And he also has a floor mat, and so if I come over here to the horizontal mover, I've got a trigger in for that floor mat. So same thing, they step on it, and then it goes off. Now, because I didn't want to have floor mats for everything, I, I knew that by the time they were going to leave the horizontal mover, they are going to be running into Boogity. I just had it where Boogity, he starts when uh, the horizontal mover is done. And I have a timer, and I will disarm and show you the timers over here for Boogity. Boogity's timer is when input 2 is on, that is the horizontal mover. When the horizontal mover is on, start your countdown. This one says 120 one tenths of a second, so that is 12 seconds. So as soon as the horizontal mover starts, 12 seconds later, the timer's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then bang, boogity fires off. So let's rearm everything and I'll show you how that works. Boogity is done, then they come to me and I have a spiel, and I needed to have a remote that I could move around with. And this is a radio frequency, meaning I could go through walls and stuff and, and get away from my computer. And so this little box here, which normally has a cover on it, is my radio-controlled remote. And if you see the little wire coming out for channel 1, because channel 1 is my air whips, it is wired right into the input for the exorcist. And so to fire the air whips, I just hit number one. And it goes off. And I got the same thing for my lunger prop. He's on channel seven. Well, I'm going to fire channel seven.
that was helpful in having you understand how DM Exorcist works and how you can use that to integrate a whole haunt show. Thanks for watching. Take care.